Hello and welcome to another Stamp with Amy K Facebook Live. And today I'm going to show you how I made a fun card with the Santa's Delivery Stamp Set Bundle. And I don't know what my thing is lately. I guess I've just been on a kick to make slimline cards. <laughs> and so I've made a couple of these recently. And uh, hopefully you're liking them. I don't know. I made one with the Penguin um, uh, Penguin penguin place uh stamp set bundle and the i don't know the snowflake joyful snowflake bundle so hopefully y'all are liking the cards but i thought it was too too cute one of my team members made a similar card uh not too too long ago uh with this uh stamp set bundle and it's just the little train is just too perfect for a slimline card so i went ahead and made one as well and i'm going to show you how i put this together it's super easy i'll give you the measurements i'm also going to have them all posted out on my blog tomorrow which is stampwithamyk.com i'll link it up in the description of the video so you'll be able to find um, a link to go take a peek at the measurements and not everything that I used to create this on my blog tomorrow. So hey Karen, thanks for hopping in. I do get questions fairly often about the slimline envelopes. These are from Stampin' Up. They have some that are available in the online store. And I get questions a lot of times whether you can mail these with just one stamp. And I will say that in the United States, I don't know about outside the U.S., within the U.S., um, you can usually <laughs> mail them with just one stamp. Um, but it depends a little bit on weight. And I know that's kind of where I get myself in trouble sometimes is that when I start layering things up, then all of a sudden it's over an ounce or it's too thick or whatever. Um, so my suggestion always is to design your card, uh, take it down with the envelope and have it wait at the post office if you question it at all. Um, like I said, I tend to just put the more postage on them because I usually go over because, you know, I can't help myself. I just keep layering stuff on and then it, by the time I get done, it's like 1.2 ounces. Whoops. <laughs> so hey, Marilyn, thanks for joining. All right. So this is the card that we're going to be making today. And again, these are the Slimline envelopes from Stampin' Up that you can get in the online store now. So let's start with the stamp set bundle. So this is the Santa's delivery stamp set. And as you can see, it's really cute. It's got some cute little images in it, um, stamped images that you can die cut in color if you want, or just die cut or whatever it is you want to do with them. Some cute little sentiments, love the penguin and the candy canes. And then there's the little um, package of, or set of gifts, the little tree. Um, so all sorts of things you can kind of add and um, put pieces on as you would like. There's a little sign in here as well. And then there's a great set of dies that coordinate. So the dies actually will cut out the stamped images so all of the open dies um, coordinate with one of the images in this stamp set and then there are some accessory dies so we've got a wreath here there's a little bow and then there's these cute little train tracks so um, I did use several of the dies today um, oh and this these two actually will cut out the little puffs of smoke for your um, stamped image as well all right so this this is the bundle and again it's really really cute so just get it and then you won't be sad Oh, and before I forget, um, one thing that I did almost forget to say is the designer series paper, um, the Santa Express, which is all part of the same suite. You can buy it individually or you can buy it as a suite, so all the pieces together. Um, but the designer series paper in here, actually you can cut with the little train car and the train images, um, or train dies, you can actually cut directly from the designer series paper. So there's one paper that's got a whole bunch of Santas and trains all over it, and one or two, I can't remember the there's one set or two sets that have the little train cars um, in the designer series paper. So that is actually where these came from is they're all pre-printed. All you have to do is cut them out. So it doesn't really get any easier than that as far as <laughs> um, putting your cards together. So, all right, let me set this aside now that I think I've finally done talking about it. One last thing that I did use on this um, uh, card is the, oh, the second smallest of the circle dies from the stylish shapes dies. I used to cut out my little sentiment here. Um, this card I had it all designed and kind of, it took me a minute to sort of figure out what to do with the sentiment. So hopefully you like it where it is. If you can come up with a better place for it, um, definitely stick it wherever you want to. But I was just, I was trying to, you know, showcase as much of the background because the, the designer paper on the background is really cute. So I want to make sure you could see that and um, also have the sentiment on there. So that's what I came up with. Um, again, hope you like it. And um, if you have a better place to put it, stick it wherever. So, all right, a couple things before we get going. Uh, Stampin' Up! has a really awesome starter kit promotion going on right now. Through the end of October, if you join as a demonstrator, you get to pick an additional $30 in free product in your starter kit. Um, so it's a great, great deal. So if you purchase the starter kit, you pay $99 uh, plus tax. It ships for free. You get to pick $155 worth of whatever Stampin' Up! merchandise you might like to get. Um, and that includes the new fitting florets, which I'll show you in just one second. You can also include that as part of your starter kit if you would like. And then once you join as a demonstrator, um, you get 
at least a 20% discount on all of your orders that you place as a demonstrator. So it's a really awesome deal. Uh, there is no obligation to continue on, no obligation to buy anything else, no obligation to sell to anyone else. Um, you can just get the starter kit, you know, give it a try, see how you like it, get the discount on your own orders and um, go with that. So about uh, probably 85% of my team members um, joined and are simply just getting the discount for themselves. So there's nothing wrong with that. Um, we actually love having all sorts of team members. So if you are interested in that, let me know. I'd love to chat with you more about it, but make sure you get uh, signed up soon. This deal actually ends on October 31st. So, um, oh, and I also forgot to say you get a paper pumpkin kit as well as boxes of catalogs um, when you join. So that's all part of your starter kit. So let me know if you have questions. Again, uh, drop me an email, uh, whatever, shoot me a text, uh, send me through my business Facebook page, and I'll chat with you more about it. So happy to answer any questions. All right. Stampin' Up! also has a new collection of products coming, and it's called Fitting Florets, and it's absolutely beautiful. I've made several projects with it, so you can go take a peek on my blog if you want to see what it looks like a little bit closer up. Um, but it is a collection that you can get everything uh, all together in with one product code if you want to do that. Or you can also get the pieces individually. So it is a stamp and die set. So it's a bundle. Again, you can get all these pieces individually bundled together or as one big collection, however you want to do it. Um, so this is bundled together and you will get a 10% discount on this if you buy them as the bundle. This bundle is actually carrying forward into the next uh, catalog, the January to June 2023 catalog. So this one will be around for a little bit. The gold adhesive back swirls, the framed and festive stamp set, which is a holiday or Christmas themed stamp set, and the fitting florets 12 by 12 designer series paper are only available while supplies last through January 4th. So it's a beautiful collection of products. Um, again, you can add these items as part of your starter kit if you are interested in doing that um, so that, you know, get the products early, join, get the discount. So it's a pretty awesome deal. Again, let me know if you have questions on that. All the details will be posted on my blog tomorrow, which is stampwithamyk.com. Okay, let's get to the card <laughs> after all that yakking. Um, so the card base. Um, I've been doing them so that they fit inside the Stampin' Up! envelopes. You can definitely go smaller if you want to, uh, but this size seems to fit nicely inside their envelopes. So this is eight and a half wide by seven and a half tall, and then I score it at three and three quarters in the middle. So that's what the card base is. Again, it's eight and a half wide, seven and a half tall, scored at three and three quarters. Um, so that's your card base, pretty easy. This is shaded spruce, and we're gonna be doing a little bit of layering, so I'm gonna set this aside for a second. So this is part of that um, Santa Express Designer Series paper. This is one of the sheets, and it actually has four of these. Um, it's strips all the way across the 12 inch wide, and it's got kind of little mountain and Christmas scenes on it, and it's so, so cute. So this is one of the pieces right out of the Designer Series paper. I just cut it at uh, right about three inches, and then this is about eight and eight and one eighth inches long, so three inches wide, eight and an eighth long and i have got a piece of shaded spruce blah blah shaded spruce cardstock that is cut to eight and a quarter wide by about three and a half tall um, so you will notice that it's not going to fit perfectly on here there's going to be a little gap at the bottom so i just took another little piece of the designer series paper from that same pack and i liked the little snowflakey look on it so we're just going to stick that right down there underneath it as well just going to use a little bit of shaded spruce uh, shaded spruce <laughs> It's going to be one of those days. Stamp and seal. Too many S's, I guess, today. Um, so we've got a little stamp and seal here. We're just going to run it around the edge of my designer series paper. And there we go. Just make sure that we stick it on here right side up. The main thing that I want to do with this as, I, as I'm adhering it is I want to make sure that it's fairly even all the way around the edges. So that, that's my goal is trying to get it even in between the two edges and the top. And then I've got the little piece. This is cut to about a half an inch wide um, by eight and an eighth long. And again, just going to run the stamp and seal across that as well. Whoop. Um, glue burn the stamp and seal all over my paper. I will have my shirt stuck to that in no time, I can guarantee you. All right, so again, this is about a half an inch wide, and there is gonna be a little bit of a, an overlap here just because in total, this would equal three and a half inches, which is the same size as my shaded spruce um, piece of cardstock. So there's gonna be a little bit of an overlap here, and actually I did that intentionally because I didn't want there to be a gap in the middle, so better to layer it um, and have a little extra in the middle overlapped than it is to have an opening in there. So, all right, 
see and I've already got the paper stuck to it I gotta get that glue off of there so okay there we go okay I think it's gone now um, next thing that I did is I took some of the silver foil sheets and again I cut these ahead of time just so that I'm not off screen and yelling from the side there as I'm <laughs> die cutting I used the little track die from the Santa train dies so again this is part of that same bundle um, so I use this little die the first thing that I did before I die cut is I took two little pieces of the adhesive sheets and I stuck it on the back side of this is that um, silver foil specialty paper. This is the kind of, it's a little darker silver and it's kind of almost textured. So I know it's probably hard to see with the glare on the lights, but that this is the paper that I'm using. And then I took the adhesive sheets and I stuck it on the back of the um, paper before I ran it through the die cutting machine. So that puts like essentially a sticker on the back of it. And as you will see, it doesn't need to be completely covered from end to end with the sticker. You just need to have enough to stick it down to the card front. Um, so I just took two pieces that were probably, I don't know, an inch and a half wide and just stuck it here, stuck one here. And actually I had these two, one on top of the other. So basically I just took a piece here and a piece here and die cut both of these and um, they both got the adhesive on it, and uh, we're both good to go. So, all right, I'm gonna take this little uh, train track die cut and stick it here on the card front. Again, just using the adhesive sheets that I had put on it earlier before I die cut. And I'm gonna pick the other half adhesive sheets off. Um, if you struggle with the adhesive sheets, again, if you leave a little gap in the middle like I did where there isn't an adhesive sheet, it makes it easier to see where the edge of it is. And then you can just take your take your pick tool or your paper snips or something a little bit sharp and just kind of lift up the edge of it, and then the, the backing will peel right off it. So they're pretty easy to use. Um, the biggest struggle that I have is just remembering to use them. <laughs> so, all right. So I'm going to take this, and then I'm going to overlap my little train tracks here, and... You could see it a little bit, but it's mostly covered by the train. So again, I didn't worry too much about the fact that I was going to have a little overlap here. So just sticking those down, just like that. All right. Let me grab a couple of other pieces here that I have die cut ahead of time. So the little Santas, like I said, there are a whole sheet full of Santas. I want to say there are 12 of them or so maybe um, on the, the um, designer series paper, which is the Santa Express designer series paper. And then there are... I I was trying to remember what this one or two sheets. I feel like it's one sheet of the train cars and it's just got a couple of different designs on it. Um, so again, it's got one with a little um, reindeer in there singing away and the other one was just a little set of gifts. And then I just took these and kind of lined them up here on the track where I thought I wanted them to be. And generally just kind of tried to, again, lay out, trying to make sure that I'm, I'm sticking things down in the space that I want them to be. So I will start with putting the Santa down first. And again, these are cut with the coordinating um, Santa train dies. So it's pretty awesome that they have set up the designer series paper to work perfectly with the dies. So you can either stamp and die cut them, or you can just do like I did and um, do it the lazy way. <laughs> and just uh, take your designer series paper and cut out the piece and um, you'll be set to go. All right, so let me grab the, get the dimensional backings off here, which this is going to take just a second because there are a few of them. Hopefully y'all are having a fantastic day. It's raining a little bit here in New Jersey, but not too, too cold. Um, just got back from a little retreat with the team, um, some of the team members in Georgia this weekend. So we had a, definitely a good time down there. And um, so, yeah, did a little stamping, way too much eating, lots of laughing. So it was a good time. <laughs> so, all right, let me stick on the little train car here. And there we go. Um, got some stampin' dimensionals that I'm picking the backing off. And then um, when, I, when I connected these two, I basically tucked the little, um, I don't know, the, the connector piece, whatever that's called. <laughs> I probably should know these. The, is it the tongue? I'm not sure what, I think that's what it's called. Um, so I tucked that underneath the train and stuck it together here. And then I'm going to do the same thing on um, this little train car. Taking my stamp of dimensionals, sticking them on the back here. Hopefully I'm broadcasting live. It looks like I am. So um, anyway, thanks to those that are hopping in today and joining. I appreciate you being here. And then I'm going to take this, the other train car and do the same thing, just kind of tucking it underneath and 
Line it up, and there we go. Then we're gonna take this and put it onto the card front. Uh, let me see, where are my dimensionals? Here we go. And again, just sticking it down with Stampin' Dimensionals. And I do kind of put a few extra on here. Normally I do, I don't know, probably, I think I do six of them normally on a regular card, but this one's kind of an extended um, piece and I don't want it to get saggy in the middle. So I'm putting a few extra Stampin' Dimensionals down here to hopefully uh, hold it up and, and um, make sure that it stays pretty all the way through the time that I give it. So, all right, gonna, again, peel off the backings on these which takes longer than sticking them down does, definitely. All right. Okay, I think we got them all off. And then I'm gonna just line this up here. Hopefully get it straight and stick it down to the card front. All right, there we go. Uh, next up, I'm gonna do a little stamping. This is a piece that I'd actually trimmed away from the edge of this um, designer series paper. So this is just a little, little extra piece that I trimmed off here. And I'm gonna stamp the little cloud image uh, on, on the more white part of this <laughs> with uh, uh, gray granite ink. And the reason that I did that is I actually initially had just stamped it in basic white or on basic white cardstock, but it was almost too stark and too white and I wanted it to be a similar color to what the background was. So that's why I grabbed a little piece of the designer series paper and decided I would just stamp on that instead of going with plain old boring, uh, you know, basic white cardstock. I figured I could stamp it on this and then get, you know, get a few other little colors in there. Um, that's just fine. So, all right, let me grab some dies here. I have got, um, the, again, these are the Santa uh, Santa's train dies and there are little dies that will cut out all the little puffs of smoke here I do have to run this through twice um, because this die will cut out two of them and then this one will cut out the third but it's um, you can't run them through together because they're too close together and you'd smoosh up your dies nobody wants that so all right so let me go ahead and run this through the die cutting machine twice so I'm going to be all over uh, sort of away from my phone here for a minute so my voice is going to kind of fade out a little bit and I do apologize because I'm stepping away from it but um, it's better that than putting the machine on the table and cranking it and wiggling and having y'all get seasick so I'll be back in one second Let's get the first one on through. All right, so we've got the two little puffs of smoke there. And whoop, working on the third one here. All right, there we go, got all three of them done. And then I'm actually using mini Stampin' Dimensionals today, which I know is not something that I usually do. So <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why, I just, they work well for little round things like this, but I don't always love them for everything that I do. So I usually will cut my dimensionals in half like I did <laughs> earlier with the, when I was sticking everything on the back. So, all right, let me grab, flip these two over here and get the dimensionals put on the back of those. Maybe, there we go. And another one here. Okay. And I don't know that it matters uh, which way you put the little puffs of smoke. You know, there are three little, kind of a little bit different. Each um, little puff of smoke is a little different there. So I don't know for sure. Like I said, I don't know that it matters. I don't know there's any special order. I just stick them on here however I want to. So, all right, then we'll put the third one on here. And they almost kind of look like little ice cream things to me. Uh, so, or maybe I'm just hungry for ice cream. That could be. All right. Uh, next up, we're going to do a little bit of stamping. Um, so I've got Poppy Parade cardstock and the little uh, Ho 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 sentiment. Again, that is from the Santa's Delivery Stamp Set and Versamark ink. So I'm going to tap it on my Versamark ink pad, stamp it on the Poppy Parade cardstock. Give it a second to make sure I get hopefully a good image. And then... I'm gonna grab the white embossing powder from the Basics Embossing Powders, and we're gonna sprinkle that over the stamped image here. Try to get a good solid image without having too much extra stuck everywhere. I forgot to run my embossing buddy over it before I set everything up, but all right, there we go. I think we got most of the little extra flecks off. 
And I do store my embossing powders in a little Ziploc container. Um, it makes it easy for sprinkling it and you can dump it right back in the container and it's closed and you don't have to worry about it flying everywhere when you turn your heat tool on because it makes a huge mess if you do that. So, all right, so the Stampin' Up! heat tool has two settings on it. There's a level one setting for drying and a level two setting for heat embossing. So I am using the level two setting. And um, again, the level one setting, you can use it if you are doing something like watercoloring and it takes a minute for the paper to, or for the ink to dry. Um, and you wanna speed it up a little bit. The level two setting is for heat embossing. So it does get a little hotter, but it does take just a second for it to heat up. So that's why I'm busy uh, chattering away here as the heat tool is running and letting it heat up. So I'm gonna take it and turn it towards my project. And give it another second. Whoop, I just smacked right into the camera. <laughs> so give it another second here to heat up. And uh, there we go, it's starting to turn that bright white and then you know that it's done heating. All right, there we go. Um, you don't want to overheat your embossing powder because you can burn it. And also you don't want to touch it immediately because you can also smear it until it um, dry, cools off and dries a little bit. All right, so I'm going to grab my Stylish Shapes dies. This is the second smallest one. And I'm just going to run this through the die cutting machine really quickly. So I'll be right back. Again, I'll be off screen and away from the camera. So my voice will definitely sound like I'm far away or talking in a tunnel, but I will be back, I promise. And our little sentiment is all done and die cut here. I'm gonna grab a couple stampin' dimensionals and I'm gonna do what I did with the original one and kind of tuck it underneath the train car. So just grab a couple of stampin' dimensionals and stick them on the back. And tuck it here underneath the little train car. And then the last thing I'm gonna put on the card front is I, one of the rhinestone basic jewels and I picked one of the small ones and I'm just gonna stick it here next to the sentiment just anywhere on the old little sentiment die cut. Doesn't need to be anywhere special. Just to give it a little bit of sparkle up there as well, because we've got our shiny little train tracks. Um, figured it needed a little sparkle on the sentiment as well. All right, let me grab the, for the inside of the card. So this piece is basic white and it is cut to three and a half tall by eight and a quarter wide. And again, all the measurements will be on my blog tomorrow. So don't worry about writing them down or trying to figure them out or anything like that. Um, I've got shaded spruce ink and the Merry Christmas sentiment from the Santa's Delivery stamp set. Um, and I do love that this is a photopolymer one so that you can see through it and hopefully see where you're stamping and um, hopefully see whether you've got the image inked nicely, which working on it. <laughs> so, all right, let me get right up here over the top of this and hopefully get somewhat centered here and straight. And we'll give it a second here. All right, looks like we got a reasonable image. And I'm gonna call it straight and centered. I don't know if it's exactly straight and centered, but it's close enough. And then I've got a little, again, just a piece of that same designer series paper that I'd used on the card front. Um, this one is cut to about 5 eighths of an inch, and I think this is the full 12 inch length of it. Um, so I did not, like I said, I thought I'd used a half inch, but I think it's closer to a 5 eighths inch um, for that one. And just gonna run stamp and seal across the length of the basic white cardstock. And then, whoop, almost put the wrong side down, whoopsies. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take this and line it up here. And I usually, when I'm doing the inside of a card like this, will usually leave the um, paper a little bit longer than I'm adhering, just because sometimes I don't cut these exactly correct uh, as far as size goes. So it's always easier to trim it off than it is to try to add something to it. Um, otherwise you can trim down your, your background piece if you make a little boo-boo and have it cut to the wrong size, but I generally find that it's a little easier um, just to leave it oversized and then trim it down when I'm done. All right, let's stick this down here with a little stamp and seal. Oop, there we go. All right, and then put it on the inside of the card base. And if I've cut everything correctly, it should fit in here nicely and um, give you a fairly even edge around everything. All right, there we go. And I'm gonna grab the bone folder, fold it closed, and we'll be all done for today. So 
All right, there we go. So we've got two of our little Santa's delivery cards. So this is the one I made ahead of time. This is the one we made here today. Um, don't forget, Stampin' Up! does have these slimline envelopes that coordinate. Um, this one is actually, I think it's soft succulent is the color on it. But actually when I put it together, I thought the greens really didn't, look terrible, so I think it doesn't clash. So I figured I could use one of these with the green, and then I've got one of them that's white, and there's also um, a gray granite, or smoky slate, uh, maybe smoky slate is the third color in here. Um, so there are three different colors in the envelopes, and um, you can go ahead and mix and match them and use whatever. So. Um, so thanks again for joining today. I appreciate y'all being here. Uh, hopefully you like the card. Um, I thought it was kind of fun and cute and really, really easy because all it is is a couple little die cuts, add on a sentiment, and it's all done. So um, love that the designer series paper has this all pre-printed for you so you can just stick the pieces together. No coloring involved. So talking about an Amy-style lazy card, this would be it. So <laughs> all right. Uh, thanks for joining today. I will plan to be live on my YouTube channel at 2 o'clock Eastern time on Friday. And then I'll be back here live around 2 o'clock Eastern time uh, next week, Tuesday. So thanks again. Have, uh, thanks for joining, Lenny. I just saw you hop in today. So I'm uh, glad you're liking the card. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you hanging out with me today. Um, again, the details will be posted on my blog tomorrow. So I'll share the link so you can hop over and take a look at it and get all the cardstock cuts and everything then. So I will see you all very soon and um, we'll chat with you later.